Well, hello there, library friends, and welcome to another online story time from the Dorothy Alling Memorial Library. My name is Sarah, and I am one of the youth services librarians at the library. And oh boy, do I miss seeing my friends on the bookmobile and at preschool and at the library too, of course. So I'm super excited to be here with you today to share songs and rhymes and a story too. So let's get going and we'll have lots of fun together. Let's kick off our story time with a welcome song. Today, we are going to clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We shake and sing hello. We shake and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we shake and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Well done, my friends. That was lots of fun. Well, I bet you noticed in our hello song, I was using a musical shaker like this one. At the library, we call these shaky eggs, and they are so much fun to play with and make music with. But I also know that at our houses, we might not have shaky eggs like this around. So I wanted to show you how to make your own shaky egg at home. All you need is a container with a lid that fits on nice and snug and something to put inside. You could put in buttons or dried beans or even rice, which is what I put in my shaker. You put your top on and wow, you have a musical shaker. So let's take a listen to what my rice shaker sounds like. You ready? Whoa, I love the way that sounds. And I hope that you'll have as much fun making your musical shaker as I had making this one. So we are gonna be having fun with an animal rhyme today. But first, I wanted to see if you can guess what animal we're going to be rhyming about. So this is an animal that usually lives in a tree and often makes a sound like this. You ready to listen? Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! Did you guess it? An owl, of course. Good job. And in our rhyme today, there are two owls. One and two. And it goes like this. Two little hoot owls sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little hoot owls feeling very proud. One named quiet, the other named loud. Fly away, quiet. Fly away, loud. Come back, quiet. Come back, loud. Two little hoot owls digging in the snow. One named fast, the other named slow. Fly away fast, zoop. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. Nice job, friends. That was a lot of fun. And now I think we're ready for a story. So in our story, Hooray for Hat, we're going to meet some very grumpy animals. And that got me to wondering, do you ever feel grumpy? I know I do sometimes, and that's okay. Because we all feel grumpy from time to time. When I'm feeling really grumpy, 
this is what my face looks like. How about you? When you're feeling grumpy, what does your face look like? Can you show me? Whoa, that's a very grumpy face. Well, I'm wondering about the animals on the cover. Do they look grumpy to you? Hmm, I don't know. Kind of looks like they're smiling, maybe having a parade or a party of some sort. Hmm. I don't know what's going on with the animal friends in our story. I guess we're just going to have to read to find out. Hooray for Hat with Words and Pictures by Brian Wan. When Elephant woke up, he was very grumpy. There's even a little black cloud of grumpiness over his head. Ding dong! The doorbell rang. Elephant stomped down the stairs. Go away, I'm grumpy. There was a present on the doorstep. Elephant unwrapped the box. I wonder what's inside. Well, it was hard to stay grumpy now. Hooray for hat, Elephant cheered. I will show Zebra. And wow, look at all those things. But Zebra did not want to look at any hats. Go away, I'm grumpy. There's that little black cloud. So Elephant gave Zebra a hat. Zebra smiled and they both cheered. Hooray for hat. Let's show Turtle. But Turtle would not come out of his shell. Go away, I'm grumpy. Well, Elephant gave Turtle a hat too. Turtle smiled and they all cheered. Hooray for hat. Let's show out. But Owl did not want to see them or their hats. Go away, I'm grumpy. They have a hat for Owl. So Elephant gave Owl a hat too. Owl smiled and they all cheered. Hoo, hoo, hooray for hat. Elephant, zebra, turtle, and owl all marched down the road to show a lion. Hooray for hat! I guess that's why they all look so happy on the cover. There's Lion's Cave. But Lion did not want any visitors. Go away, I'm grumpy. Elephant gave Lion a hat too, but Lion, well, he was still sad. I love this hat, but I can't cheer while our friend Giraffe is not feeling well. What can we do? And do you notice the hat that Elephant gave to Lion? So. Elephant, zebra, turtle, owl, and lion made a surprise for giraffe. 
then you can see what they're putting in the box. They all march to Giraffe's home that says, do not disturb. On the way, Lion started to feel better. And soon, I wonder, Giraffe felt better too. Hooray for friends. And Giraffe is wearing all of the hats. That is the end of our story. But on the back cover of Hooray for a Hat, it says, happiness is best when it's shared. I love that. So maybe the next time you're in a grumpy mood, you might do something nice for somebody else and that could make you feel a little bit better. Or maybe a friend will do something nice for you and that would be wonderful too. So another animal we met in our story, hooray for a hat, was a turtle. So we are going to do a really silly turtle song today. It's called Tiny Tim. But before we get started, I wanted to show you how to make the sign for turtle using American Sign Language. It's really easy. So all you need to do is take your hand and make a fist like this, put one thumb up, and that's going to be the body and the head of your turtle. We'll take the other hand and put it on top of our turtle to make the shell. And there you have it. Your turtle is ready to go. So let's do our song through two times. The first time we'll take it nice and slow and the second time we'll really speed things up. All right, are you ready? Here we go. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And now he's at home sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Oh, bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. Nice job. Now, let's go even faster. Turtles ready? And here we go. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And now he's at home sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Well, bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. Phew. Nice job, guys. That was really fun. Thank you for singing with me today. So believe it or not, it is time for us to clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. Remember that shaker from earlier? We shake and sing goodbye. We shake and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we shake and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing goodbye. Well, goodbye, my friends. It has been so much fun spending a little bit of time with you, and I hope you're all doing really well. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you very soon. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.